Oh, it's kind of dark. Set up differently so that I'm not sure. We're going to just turn it and let everybody see. Namaste Lake Chapala, welcome. This is Namaste Lake Chapala, and we're joining in light together here and going to extend this out. <laughs> we're sending you love, really, from Lake Chapala. It's such a blessed place. Everyone's invited to come, by the way. Don't anyone who's a core student it's so joyful to be with mighties all day long so is it dan are you good if i leave sure <laughs> you know or yeah. judith you know and um oh i can't do a sound check really i'm testing this is working hopefully you can hear me otherwise it'll be a very silent video okay but well, we can hear it did you push record it's for us yes i did judith's helping me remember because i didn't hit the button last night Holy Spirit sends helpers. Okay, now, okay, it's recording, and yes, the sound is moving here, so yeah, welcome everyone to join this light circle, and <laughs> now we have a new member coming in here. <clears throat> And the power that we have as divine beings to focus on the light that's here. Actually, it's our only responsibility <laughs> is to focus on the light and then see that no focus is needed because we are the light of divinity. We're that only. And then there's an idea. So today, beautifully enough, as I started speaking, I looked down. Here's lesson 73. I will be, I will there be light. <laughs> so, what better conversation for a light circle? So we're just going through these and um, focusing on the light of truth and seeing, asking Jesus to tell us any denials of this lesson. I'm willing to see it, Jesus. I'm willing to see all my denials that I will there be light. So that feels like a really helpful place to start to focus on the light first and ask Jesus, Jesus, is there any desire in the subconscious mind not to experience I will there be light? And will you re tell me what those are? I'm willing to look at them directly. In the light of truth. And then once it clears, we just turn our hands over so that we can see, you know, as is whatever energetic investment that there is in not being the light, always the light, which is peace and joy and love, always we just turn our hands over so we can look and continue to look at each denial. Today we're considering the will you share with God. Jesus, is there any desire in the subconscious mind not to share will with God, my will with God, and have a will separate than God? I'm willing to see that. Jesus, I'm willing to actually to show me God's will, what my will is. No delay. I'm willing to see it right here and right now as God has promised it to me. Thank <laughs> you. 
Jesus, is there any desire in the subconscious mind to experience that it takes effort to know the will of God? That my will is God's will? I'm willing to see that differently. This is not the same as the ego's idle wishes, out of which darkness and nothingness arise. The will you share with God has all the power of creation in it. Is there any desire to deny that I share my will with God's will in all the power of creation? I'm willing to see that. Jesus, I'm willing to see any ideas or concepts I have about what creation is. I'm willing for you to show me those so that I can see the true creation. The ego's idle wishes are unshared and therefore have no power at all. Jesus, I'm willing to see that the ego's idle wishes are unshared by God and therefore have no power at all. I'm willing to see this. In the light of truth. Its, its wishes are not idle in the sense that they can make a world of illusions in which your belief can be very strong. Jesus, can you show me that creating a world of illusions is denial of the light? I'm willing to see that. Jesus, can you show me that it's me who's powering my beliefs is seemingly stronger than your will? I'm willing to see that, that I'm the one who's powering the beliefs that making it seem like it's stronger than your will for me. But they are idle indeed in terms of creation. They make nothing that is real. Jesus, I'm willing to see that beliefs make nothing that's real. I'm willing to have that recognition. <clears throat> I'm willing to see any desires I have to make beliefs real. Idle wishes and grievances or partners or co-makers and picturing the world that you see. The wishes of the ego gave rise to it and the ego's need for grievances, which are necessary to maintain it, peoples it with figures that seem to attack you and call for righteous judgment. Jesus, are there any desires to keep grievances in the subconscious mind to deny my divine light, the delight that I am? I'm willing to see differently. That my will is aligned with your will. The ego's need for people, peoples that with figures that seem to attack you. Jesus, am I denying the light that I am by peopling a world with figures that seem to attack me? I'm willing to see that and release it.
And I'm willing to see that in the light of who I am. And call for righteous judgment. Jesus, is there any desire in the subconscious mind for me to have an experience of being righteous? I'm willing to see that differently. Thank you, Jesus. These figures become the middleman and the ego employs to traffic in grievances. Jesus, is there any desire to traffic in grievances through the middleman in my mind? I'm willing to see this differently. I'm willing to see that it is not with your, within your will nor my will to step into that traffic. Going to see this. They stand between your awareness and your brother's, brother's reality. Beholding them, you do not know your brothers or yourself. Jesus, I'm willing to have you show me that I'm investing in not knowing myself or my brothers in grievances. Your will is lost to you in this strange bartering in which guilt is traded back and forth and grievances increase with each exchange. Can such a world have been created by the will of the Son of God, by the will the Son of God shares by the Father? Jesus, I'm willing to hear your answer. I'll read this again. Your will is lost to you in this strange bartering in which guilt is traded back and forth and grievances increase with each exchange. Jesus, can such a world have been created by the will the Son of God shares with his Father? <coughs> can you not see that this is impossible? Did God create disaster for his Son? Creation is the will of both together. Would God create a world that kills himself? In our direct experience as divine being, would God create a world that kills himself? In the light of our divine being, does divine being know anything about a world of killing? Or when God attempts to kill himself? Jesus, if there's any desire in the subconscious mind to experience, have an experience of killing myself, I'm willing to see that differently. Today we will try once more to reach the world that is in accordance with your will. The light is in it because it does not oppose the will of God. It is not heaven, but the light of heaven shines upon it. Darkness has vanished. The ego's idle wishes have been withdrawn. Jesus, I withdraw the idle wishes of the ego. I'm willing to see that is the only truth. 
Yet the light that shines upon this world reflects your will, and so it must be in you that we will look for it. Your picture of the world can only mirror what is within. The source of neither light nor darkness can be found without. Jesus, is there any desire in the subconscious mind to look for the source of light or darkness outside of myself? Have an experience of looking outside myself for darkness and for light. I'm willing to see that differently. Grievances darken your mind and you look out on a darkened world. Forgiveness lifts the darkness, reasserts your will, and lets you look upon a world of light. We have repeatedly emphasized that the barrier of grievances is easily passed and cannot stand between you and your salvation. Jesus, I'm willing to see that the barrier of grievances is easily passed and cannot stand between me and my salvation. I'm willing to recognize this is true. And see any denials if that's true. The reason is very simple. Do you really want to be in hell? Do you really want to weep and suffer and die? I'm willing to hear anything you have to say about that, Jesus, in my mind. Forget the ego's arguments which seek to prove all that is all this is really heaven. Jesus, is there a desire in the subconscious mind to have what's outside of me project outside of myself to prove that this is really heaven? I'm willing to see that differently. You know that it is not so. You cannot want this for yourself. There is a point beyond which illusions cannot go. Suffering is not happiness. It is happiness you really want. Such is your will and truth. I feel willing to see this. And so salvation is your will as well. You want to succeed in what we are trying to do today. We undertake it with your blessing and your glad accord. Amen. We will succeed today if you remember that you want salvation for yourself. You want to accept God's plan because you share in it. You have no will that can really oppose it, and you do not want to do, to do so. Salvation is for you. Above all else, you want the freedom to remember who you are. Today, it is the ego that stands powerless before your will. Your will is free, and nothing can prevail against it. Therefore, we undertake the exercises for today in happy confidence, certain that we will find what it is your will to find. And remember what it is your will to remember. No idle wishes can detain us nor deceive us with the illusion of strength. Today, let your will be done and forever the insane belief that it is hell and place of heaven that you choose. I'm willing to see this, that my choice, it's my choice for heaven. Mm -hmm. 
it is not the purpose of an alien power thrust upon you unwillingly. It is the one purpose here on which you and the Father are perfect in perfect accord. You will succeed today, the time appointed for the release of the Son of God from hell and from all idle wishes. His will is now restored to his awareness. He is willing this very day to look upon the light in him and be saved. Tell yourself with gentle firmness and quiet certainly, I will there be light. Let me behold the light that reflects God's will and mine. Then let your will assert itself, join with the power of God and unified with yourself. Put the rest of the practice period under their guidance. Join with them as they lead the way. In the shorter practice periods, again, make a declaration of what you really want. Say, I will there be light. Darkness is not my will. It is most important, however, to apply today's idea in this form immediately. You are tempted to hold a grievance of any kind. This will help you let your grievances go instead of cherishing them and hiding them in darkness. I will there be light. Darkness is not my will. Thank you. It feels that we'll just rest here in the light of truth and listen for any guidance that comes into our heart for Jesus for our function for today. Thank you for joining us.